ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Nestec Bits. Today I want to just reflect on something that just strikes me as being a little bit crazy. I got this Sanyo Roku TV while I was buying my groceries. So yeah, it's cool that we can get TVs at the grocery store. But man, 150 bucks. 150 bucks. And then it's all mine. 150 bucks. One time fee. The kids growing up these days, that might seem like nothing. Just the fact that I can pick this thing up while I'm out getting groceries and it doesn't explode my bill too much. And it's 32 inches. It's 32 inches. 23 inches was, I think it was 1983, 23 inches was $599 at Zeller's. And that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not even including inflation. When I got a TV, when we got a TV when I was a kid, my grandparents gave my folks the money cause, to get it because they were so freaking cheap. I still remember going to get it. I still remember the, the camera setup. All these stores had this setup where there was a camera and the camera would broadcast whatever it was seeing to all the other TVs. And that was a big deal at the time. Kids would line up to see that stuff. Usually they'd have something like this in, this, in, the, in, uh, in, in the glass window front where they'd shine uh, or, or they'd have a, they have a camera just looking at what was out there, not even recording. And they'd have a big TV and then they would show you this and the kids would run up to her and be like, hey, yeah, I'm on camera. And we feel so special about it. And it was a big deal getting one of these TVs. And at that point in like 83, we had finally perfected the idea of having a tube TV and having a rugged tube TV because that TV that we got would last us. The, the buttons on it would wear out before the tube would totally wear out. And these days, well, we're throwing TVs out left and right these days because of little issues like capacitor or the uh, uh, the stuff that they use on the inside all of a sudden becomes conductive. You know, all of this little stuff. But man, back in the day when I was a kid, we had it figured out. We knew how to use these things. And they're expensive. They were a one-time thing. You spent way too much money on them and you had them forever. You didn't just get one of these things while you were shopping. So... What is it to say about this stuff that we can do this like this now? Of course, technology's gotten better. Of course, uh, our capability to do more with less has gone up. Our efficiency has definitely gone up. But there's more to it than that. Made in China, let's face it, Sanyo. What about that does not say made in China? So of course we got people making this stuff over in China. We got people making this stuff over in China while people in North America no longer have uh, so much of these jobs, but I'd like, to, I'd like to think North America definitely has it better than China, especially when it comes to the cheap electronics. Because in China, there's a lot of stuff that's made for like hardly anything. Foxconn suicide nets. Uh, if you have a digital device, you have a piece of Foxconn in there. You have helped pay for those suicide nets. And uh, it's just interesting, if, if you cross the Chinese government the wrong way, you disappear, maybe you'll disappear into a forced labor camp. That stuff actually happens. And then, the valuable earth metals that come from these places are often uh, coming from mines in Africa who hire child labor. This is a problem we got to take care of, definitely is, but it's especially a sign of our times and I almost wonder if the consumption is through the roof too. And like, yeah, I got this, I got this TV, but how long is it going to last? Seriously, probably like what, five years? Maybe? We have such a disposable way of doing things these days. I just can't believe the contrast from where we were to where we are when it comes to picture technology. Back in the day when we had the CRTs, that was the big thing. I never thought that I never thought that anything could get better than that. What I didn't realize is we weren't seeing the full screen. There were little bits of the screen that were cut off. And if I wanted to get a video, man, it was in '92. I think I had to uh, spend 18 bucks to get Terminator 2, and that's got to be like 40 bucks these days. So so rarely I would pay. That kind of money for something like that though the media the price of the media has come down it's so much easier for people to do their own things uh, to make their own videos make their own youtube stuff 
And geez, just how far we've come in such a small amount of time. It's amazing. Guys, I picked a 32 inch TV up for 150 bucks while I was grocery shopping. Life's, life's pretty good. Life's pretty good, but we got a way to go. I just can't believe I managed to pick this TV up for 150 bucks while I was getting groceries. It's a good life, I guess. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Take care of each other. Have a good one.